Hi everyone, welcome to this talk on our research work, Pay Attention with Focus, a novel learning scheme for classification of host slide images. This is a joint work between Shivam Kabra, Mohammad Adnan, Sopan Himati, Tahir Dekh Kharghanian, Shahirar Rahanamayan, and Hamid Tazush. I'm the presenter Shivam Kabra and a PhD candidate at Chemia Lab University of Waterloo. Starting with the motivation. WSI classification or whole slide image classification is a very challenging problem because these images are gigapixel images and cannot be fed directly into a deep network. The label for these images are not available at regional level, rather they are available at the entire image level. In literature, it has been shown that an effective way of processing the whole slide image is by representing them as a set of patches called mosaic. In this work, we are exploring a set-based learning method for whole slide image classification. Traditionally, a machine learning model handles two types of data, a single instance fixed dimensional data or the ordered instances of data. But when the learning happens on a set as an input, it's known as multi-instance learning. The objective of this research is to create a MIL model for whole slide image classification. Problem definition. An MIL model is required to have these two properties, the permutation invariance. That is the output of the model remains same regardless of the permutation of its input elements. And the second is to be able to process an arbitrary length input set. The existing methods such as CNNs and RNNs violate at least one of the above properties. Apart from these two properties, we would like to have our model also attention. A whole slide image classification can benefit from having an attention, since not all patches contribute equally towards a diagnosis. For example, the nuclear density may be the vital indicator of our diagnosis. Now let's start with describing our proposed method, called Foucault mill or a multi-instance learning method with focal factor and the attention. Each whole slide image is represented as a set of feature vectors computed using its mosaic patches. A single vector representation of this set called WSI context is then computed using deep set model. The WSI context is then utilized to calculate the focal factor. The attention value for each patch is calculated by passing its feature vector to the transformation network T and then concatenating with the WSI context and eventually passing it to the attention network. The patch level prediction is calculated by passing the feature vector to a prediction MLP. The final aggregated prediction for the whole slide image is calculated through the patch level prediction, the patch level attention, and the whole slide level focal factor. The network used for computing the WSI context is called DeepSet, and it is a universal approximation of a set function proposed by Zahir et al. in 2017. We further use the hierarchical information present in the labels of the whole slide images to create more robust feature structure. Now continuing to the experiment section, we utilize one of the largest public archive of whole slide images called the Cancer Genomic Atlas or TCGA dataset. The first experiment involves the classification of lung adenocarcinoma, LUAD, versus lung squamous cell carcinoma, LUSC. The proposed approach for cat milk performed really well compared to the existing state of the art in the literature. Visualizing the attention values of our model shows that it is able to focus on the histologically relevant areas. Next, we trained our method on a very large scale data set containing up to 7,000 whole slide images for the pan-cancer classification. The table shows that our approach is able to achieve very high accuracy for the cancer subtype classification. For the final remark, we are proposing a multi-instance learning approach for whole slide image classification called FOCATML. It is able to process the whole slide image in its entirety, that is no dimension reduction is required. And the validation result shows that it is a very competitive approach. And that is the end of the talk. I thank you all for listening.